Welcome to our locker room. Um, this is a pretty, pretty basic locker room, but um, uh, we actually just remodeled it uh, a couple of years ago and um, got brand new lockers in here. And as you can see, uh, three different types of uniforms. Well, actually next year, these two uniforms are being retired and we'll, we'll be getting uh, uh, two new sets of, of Nike uniforms. But uh, as a head coach, I'm kind of a, kind of a gear guy. I like to have our guys uh, when we travel wear a, a ton of uh, ton of shirts. Uh, we actually have three sets of sweatsuits that aren't out here right now. Sweatshirts uh, for the winter time, coats, uh, different practice uh, practice sets, and obviously we provide uh, the shoes uh, and socks and, and things for our guys. So um, you know, you're definitely not going to have to worry about uh, uh, being taken care of on the gear side. If you follow me over here, uh, one thing that we do as a as a program is um, we, we've kind of copied it from Texas Tech, but a 300 club. We chart, um, everything's, up, everything's erased right now, but we chart uh, every month how many shots our guys are getting um, makes per day. We try to get them to make 300 makes a day, whether it be on the gun uh, or whether it be on a, uh, with, a, with a, a, a member of the coaching staff and, and, and shooting with them. This right here is our wall of fame, I guess, for uh, uh, to make this wall, um, we basically they've got to be freshman of the year, uh, first team all conference, MIAA player of the year uh, in our conference, or first team all American. Um, since I've been here, we've coached Skyler, Skyler Bolin, I've coached uh, Jason Adams, Keen Toman, uh, Slim McGee was a one year guy who transferred from South Alabama for us. Uh, CJ Carr was an all American for us, a little five six point guard who transferred from SIU Edwardsville. Uh, Tavon Prince, we had him for two years or two and a half years. He sat out a semester, but um, he was a transfer from South Dakota State. His senior year, he actually led the count or led the country in scoring at 26 points a game. And then Jordan Talbert um, was one of the first pl first players uh, in Missouri Southern history um, to be third in career rebounding, second in career uh, um, blocks, and then um, a thousand point club. So uh, he had a very good, very good career. Marcus Addison coached him for four years, and uh, um, he was first team all league. Led us to uh, three NCAA tournaments, and uh, had a great, great career. And, and every single one of these guys uh, right now is playing overseas professionally. And uh, all these other guys up here, Coach Corn, uh, my former boss, who was here for 25 years, uh, coached the majority of these guys, and actually played played with some of these guys. So it's a, a very distinguished wall, and. and uh, some of these guys are, are very talented and, and some of them, like I said, still continuing to, to play overseas. We watch all of our film in here. Um, uh, we, over here we provide our guys and we, we filled this and stocked this during the season with, with waters or with uh, Gatorades and, and uh, make sure our guys are drinking plenty of fluids. But um, um, this is where our home is and this is where our guys hang out quite a bit and um, just a nice little, nice little area for our guys. Uh, we're just walking up into our uh, basketball facility here. It's actually uh, uh, indoor track as well and our track program has just a couple of conference tournaments in here uh, every year but um, there's a I believe it's 80,000 square feet arena um, obviously the baskets aren't up right now due to the whole situation but um, both these sides pull out um, chair backs on each side uh, sits seats about 3,200 people um, uh, we got the general admission section down there as well one thing about our program is, um, you know, the biggest thing I think basketball matters around here. Uh, we were tenth in the country last year. In the past four years, we've been at least in the top 15 in attendance. Uh, so number 10 in, in the country in attendance last year. Um, the other thing is, is when we go on the road, our conference, the MIAA, was number one in um, in attendance in the entire country for Division II uh, conferences. So. Um, when we go on the road and play, you're obviously going to play in front of a lot of fans. Here we average about 2,000 fans per game. Um, obviously when you win, uh, fans tend to come out a little bit more and we've been fortunate enough to do that the last, last six years and, and uh, we, need, uh, we need to continue that. But uh, uh, great facility. Uh, we have a video board up there. We do a starting lineup video before every game. We turn the lights out and uh, have a little spotlights for our guys to go out and run and, and uh, shake the referees, shake the opponent's hands. And, and um, we do that video at the beginning of every year, uh, beginning of every year, and, and we mix up how we how we do it. But our uh, marketing department does a great job of uh, getting our guys involved in that. This is our other uh, gymnasium. Uh, our volleyball team plays in here. Our uh, junior varsity team plays in here as well. Um, but uh, we will practice in here. This is another opportunity for our guys to get shots up. 
Uh, if LMP is being used during the during the school day, uh, the, our guys can come in here and, and shoot shoot in here. But uh, we use this gym quite a bit if we have a, a shooting practice or we just want to get uh, a lot of shots up, uh, something light. But uh, just six six baskets in here, a lot more space, and and um, just a, a great opportunity for our guys to continue to develop their game, being able to have an extra gym uh, uh, in case the other one's being used. As you can see right now, we're rebuilding the the weight room here in LMP, and uh, the company that we're using is called Sornex, and uh, top. Of the line of equipment, uh, big time D1 schools, a lot of professional, um, pretty much almost all the professional sports are now using Sornex, which is pretty awesome. Um, and the guys coming in and athletes that are here already are going to be able to experience working with this equipment. Um, the equipment that we have here right now, we're going to have nine racks, um, nine racks, a lot of, we're going to have jammers, uh, pit sharks on them, call them J squats. Uh, basically, uh, what we've done to this weight room is maximize the potential of training. Uh, whatever we can do, whatever we want to do, uh, we can do it in this room now. Um, even with athletic trainers coming in and working with rehab and prehab kids, uh, athletes I should say, um, they can come here and get work done now. So it speeds up the process of uh, rehabilitation and also helps us with the flow of weight room, it helps us with maximizing everything that we can do for our athlete. My name is Becca Diskin and I work as the Director of Financial Aid here at Southern. As a, as a student athlete coming to Missouri Southern, I think some of the things they can do to be prepared and ready certainly can happen before they come uh, to campus officially you know, for their first semester. So prior to the semester starting, um, any time within that first year, so senior year of high school or their last semester of college um, at their transfer school, um, the best things they can do is start working with our admissions office and make sure they have their admission application in place so they can be admitted to the university because that certainly starts the ball rolling for us to determine their academic scholarship eligibility. Um, once the high school transcripts are here or the college transcripts are here, then that feeds on to financial aid so that we can determine their uh, academic scholarship eligibility. So that's really helpful for us to get started and get the ball rolling, at least within the Southern system. After that, uh, we definitely encourage every student coming into the school to fill out a FAFSA. That's the free application for federal student aid, and they can do that uh, anywhere from the October before their start of their first semester here, so almost a year in advance. Um, they can do that online, make sure that you have um, Missouri Southern School Code listed on the FAFSA so that we receive that information, and then we can process federal and state financial aid that's available as a result of that. And that certainly helps the family then know what other types of financial aid might be available to them in addition to any athletic scholarships that are offered to them. At Missouri Southern State University, we have four different colleges. We have the College of Arts and Science, which is comprised of 11 different departments with 15 disciplines. You can major in anything from English to theater to um, biology, communications. We also have the College of Business, which has 13 different programs in it. Um, and also offers two graduate programs. The College of Education has 27 majors, most of which are education majors, but does also include kinesiology and psychology. The College of Health Science has seven career-oriented majors available uh, to prepare its students for continuing certificates, um, med schools, and much more. Ultimately, we are dedicated to our student success. So we offer the Student Success Center, um, which is a free tutoring for all students. It's open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. The tutors in there are uh, tutors that have taken those classes before, they have passed those classes successfully, and again, they are free and available to any student seeking assistance. We also offer free mental health counseling. Those services are provided through the Advising Counseling and Testing Service um, Office, and they are also, they are provided by licensed mental health um, professionals. He will also get academic support from a dedicated athletic um, academic advisor, as well as your coaches and myself. Um, our basketball coaches are very good at keeping up with academics, checking your blackboard, checking your classes, doing um, academic check-ins. 
Um, I'm also available as a compliance officer. It's one of the things that I do is I look at your degree audit, making sure that you're on track for graduation, making sure you're in the classes you're supposed to be for the major that you have chosen. And I am also, first and foremost, making sure that you are meeting the NCAA um, eligibility requirements. I'm also available to any athlete that wants to discuss their academics and how that will affect their eligibility to compete in practice, as well as um, what they need to do to move forward in it advance their career goals. Also keep in mind that as an incoming freshman or transfer student, you are required to be on the NCAA Eligibility Center to have an NCAA number. That is something that I check. Um, the, the NCAA makes determinations as to freshman eligibility, but you do have to turn in your last high school transcript, your ACT score, and any other task that they may assign to you. Also, all athletes have to ask for a determination of amateurism that is available on the website right now. Uh, we will have to have that before you compete or practice. So get on there, get that done, and um, pay attention to your eligibility center to any task they may assign to you or anything they may ask you to do further, uh, more than they have already asked you to do. A couple other facilities that, um, that our, our student athletes use, uh, our North End Zone facility, um, has a lot of uh, areas for, for you to do uh, homework, uh, areas for you to do, uh, do some study halls. Um, our ath uh, athletic uh, director's office is over there and also our, our, our 5,000 square foot uh, weight room uh, that we use. So we have two weight rooms on campus right now, the one across from our locker room uh, that you see as well and then this, uh, this one right here. Um, this was built about four years ago and uh, all sports are using it right now but eventually we will move to to the one across from our locker room, but uh, uh, just another option for our students as well there. And, and uh, the next uh, facility that I'd like for you all to see is our, our rec center. Uh, we necessarily, we don't use uh, the rec center that much. Uh, our guys through their scholarship have have the fee paid for so they can go over and, and shoot baskets if, if LMP and, and Young Gymnasium are being used. But uh, we will maybe once or twice a year have to uh, uh, use uh, that facility. Um, if, if, if both gyms are being used, but uh, not very, uh, not very likely. But uh, uh, just a nice area, uh, a lot of treadmills, free weights, upstairs and downstairs, and uh, just a great way for our guys to get to uh, get to know other student athletes on campus. Hopefully, we'll see you here on campus next fall.